Hello. Hello. What kind of day would you call this in Scotland? Dreech. 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 <laughs> it's definitely Dreech. We're here in North Little Rock. We're going to go for some lunch um, yep. at our favorite brewery, Flyway Brewery. But, it's been a um, beautiful month, hasn't it? We've had the total eclipse. Yeah, we saw the eclipse. We were very lucky to be right in the path of... Uh, of totality so yeah, that was and, that was amazing uh, now we're heading across the pond yeah i'm afraid this this might be the start of a vlog that's the start of a very different vlog for us because uh we're taking a we're taking a pretty big trip the next couple of weeks we're gonna spend in the uk my home country yeah normally like normally we uh just go to scotland to visit karen's family and and see scotland yeah. but this time we're heading across the pond to to get on a narrow boat for we, a few days and see what the lifestyle is like and experience it. We so. are. Um, we're 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 officially breaking the news of uh, narrow boat potential in our future. We we've been looking at this. Uh, for those who don't know, the UK actually has a pretty extensive canal network, and um, they have people who actually uh, live full time on the canals in boats that are called narrow boats because they're very narrow. Yeah, and just continuously cruise around the network. Yeah. And uh, anyway, we we started following uh, this and and that lifestyle many years uh, yeah, many so years 2019, ago. Yeah, I believe when we first uh Yeah. first saw it. Yeah, and um Yeah, we we you know, with the aid of YouTube, really, you know, found a lot of people a lot of resources and a lot of people who did it and we started looking at it as a potential future for ourselves actually exactly so. but first before we get on that get on the way over there let's uh visit our favorite brewery beer yeah but first beer beer food. <laughs> and then we'll be helped on a flight yeah let's go get some food all right And that is Flyway Brewing. Uh, if you're ever in Central Arkansas, I think it's important you come to this place and try out their beers and their food. Oh yeah, just a, an amazing place. Yeah, to they're eat. here in North Little Rock in the Argenta district, yep. and they're really, 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 really good. good. But anyway, let's uh, get to the airport and get out of here for a couple of weeks and yep. have some fun. Yeah, we're gonna have fun. All right. Kinda. Yeah. So, but uh, yep, we got in from Little Rock last night to Chicago, and uh, sun sun's out here in uh, in Chicago, so yep. it's gonna be a nice day. So. Long flight to Heathrow. Yep. I think they knew they were giving the car to Americans. <laughs> they gave us the damage car. <laughs> we're driving. 
driving around England somewhere. We have no idea where we are. Uh, yeah, it's day three. And we've had very little sleep over the past couple of days. But right now we're at Donington. We're at Donington we're, Services just off the M1. A yeah, very wet M1. We got today. into our hotel last night after midnight London time. And got about six this morning to get going. Had a good so, breakfast. Had a great breakfast. That helped us fill up with some energy. Sausages. Yeah, good <laughs> sausages. But uh, but now we're on our way up to the north of England uh, to go uh, to the Silston area. Mm -hmm. Steeton, Silston, Keeley. Yep. That kind of area. That's right. So. And get our boat hire for tomorrow. So yep. we're really looking forward to that. But right now we're just trying to get up there and and get a, a room yeah. for the night and we're trying to we have a pretty cool looking bed and breakfast booked up there today yeah so. hopefully we can get a really good night's sleep because yeah. we cool. haven't had much over the past couple of days no. <laughs> we're no. awfully tired don't try this at home yeah driving around on wet motorways on the wrong side of the road yeah in the rain <laughs> after four four hours of sleep <laughs> that's right anyway, but anyway so. we're gonna head on keep going head on up there yep. and see you in a little bit We are well rested. <laughs> we have slept at last. <laughs> and, and well fed as well. Yeah. Oh man. We are at Seton Hall Hotel. Really beautiful place, historic yeah, building. It's really cool. Yeah, it's it's worth coming to if you're in this part of England. And uh, we're going to be heading to Bingley Five Rise? I think we're going to go look at the Bingley Five Rise this morning before we actually get our boat for the next few days. That's right, so, yeah, we're gonna be picking that up around 1.30, 2 o'clock or so. Yeah, after all the days of travel, the boat-themed uh, segment of the trip finally starts. That's so. right, so <laughs> we're looking forward to that. And uh, I don't know, it's just really awesome being here. It was a heck of a drive up the M1 and the A-Roads and stuff. Yeah, it was interesting. We, uh, it, was interesting. it was a lot busier than I thought, than Either I thought of us thought it was gonna be, yeah. But I tell you what, Karen, did a heck of a job driving up there. She is the next Colin McRae, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you could have been a good rally driver if you pursued that sometime in your life. <laughs> oh, it, it gets kind of fun when you're in these small, you know, West Yorkshire towns that are all twisty and turny and have hills and stuff. And, you know, you're in a manual transmission car. That's right. What else are you going to do? Oh, I was the navigator. <laughs> left two, right three. Oh, my gosh. It was kind of crazy. But but she did well. Got us up here. and uh, Safely. That's, that's the main right. thing. That's the main thing. No dents. No crashes. Made it all in one piece. So No more dents on the higher car than we started with anyway. <laughs> that's so. right. Yeah, I think they gave that to us on purpose. Lady Teal. What's well, our first look at the Leeds and Liverpool Canal? Seen a couple of boats. It's a nice towpath, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's not muddy. Nope. That's it's a nice day. Right. Bit cool, a bit on the chilly side. Reason. But we're heading to see the Beanley Five Rise right now before we go to pick up our higher boat at Silton. Because I'm not sure if we're- Don't forget a food shop before that. Yeah, well, <laughs> I'm just focused on the boat for the most part. But uh, I'm not sure we'll be taking the boat through the Beanley Five Rise, so I think we better at least go see it on foot, if nothing else. Yeah, that's it, look at it. There it is. Look at that thing, that's amazing. Yeah, it's just crazy. Oh, 
Oh, we've made it to the Beanley Five Rise. Wow, it's amazing. It's it's really hard to believe this was or finished 250 years ago. Just an engineering marvel. That the locks are so deep. Yeah, you can't really get a feel for it on video. Mm -hmm. But wow, when you see it in person, the locks are super deep. You can see why they can be kind of dangerous. Yeah, they're very, very If you deep. Uh, catch the sill or something with your boat. Well, really impressive. Super impressive. That's the five rise. That was really cool. We're going to be crossing back over the three rise on our way back to the tar, and then we'll be heading yep. to where? I think we're going to go back to Selsden and try and procure some non perishable food for our own uh, boat trip. But it was really cool to stand at the five rise and watch boats going up and down. Yeah. I'm really glad that there was people actually using yeah, it. Yeah, we were able to see the, see the lot keepers yeah. working the lot. <laughs> in trying to figure out what you do with a lock before right. it's our turn. So. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to uh, go do some groceries and head get our own boat for the few days here. Yeah. All right. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Is that us? I think so. I think we'll go have a look on board and then if you want to load Great. luggage on. Great. So this is it Jason, this is our first time stepping on an oh. airboat. Yep. Watch your head. <laughs> oh, it smells good. <laughs> Who'd have ever thought it was so narrow, man? It's not bad, bro. We're yeah, standing it's... on a narrow boat yeah. for the first time. This ever. is pretty cool. <laughs> it's not that small. I mean, it's no, not at all. Yeah, it's I mean, it is fine. small compared to a house, but. Well, yeah, but I, I mean, it's small for a boat, even this one, you know. Well, yeah, this is not a seven footer or anything. There's the fridge. Yeah, plenty big enough. Yeah, microwave. Plenty big enough. Oven. This will be the bathroom. There it is. Oh, it's a nice color. It's lilac. Very nice. Oh, I'm shot in. I'm starting to feel like I'm in some sort of crystal maze puzzle now or something. <laughs> Of course, you haven't seen the crystal maze, so that doesn't really mean a whole lot to you. There's the keys, there's the water point key. Yep. The, the orange ball. Anti vandal key. The inverter.
<laughs> we do we did buy duck food but um it's not there are lots of dogs on the Yeah. This can't be yet. We saw one up at Bingley this morning with babies already. Yeah. So certainly for over here. I mean over in the States stuff's got yeah. onto their second brood by now, yeah. but uh we have swallows that come and build a, a mud nest on our front porch every every spring and it's wonderful to watch them. They have like two or three broods every year. Give it the beans. <laughs> By ourselves. <laughs> By ourselves. <laughs> Getting ready to uh, so, yeah. take off. We're gonna give it a go, I guess. I'd much rather be here. <laughs> I mean, that's exactly the the, con the contrast, isn't it? Yes. Congested roads. Yeah. Look at that view over there. Yep. Oh, the sheep down there. Pretty day, perfect day for it. No, it's great. We're sailing a boat. Yeah, we are. Well, you're sailing it. I'm just hopping off and on and complaining well, about the bridges. The heart of it. I cannot begin to 
describe how weird it is to be doing this rather than sitting and watching it on YouTube. Yeah. What about the shoe? A shoe? <laughs> That would suck. That guy that helped me with that one bridge said that I was telling him that the last one was terrible and the two of us had to, it took the two of us, he said, yeah, some of them you have to bounce. So I was like, that's a good, that's a good point. We're falling down, I guess, and driving. Yep. How does it actually feel to be on a boat, on a narrow boat? Yeah, it's it's uh, it's what I expected. It's weird. I mean, you're just moving slowly. You got beautiful landscapes to look at over here. Yeah. Just moving from town to town, and just you know, taking it slow. I think for me, it's really, really strange to be doing something that we've spent literally years. Yeah, about five years. Watching on YouTube. Yeah. And it doesn't really feel real now, which is weird. <laughs> it's so, real. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, I mean, you know, it's, it's, uh... This is something we've wanted to do for a very long time. Yeah, it's a different way to measure, you know, what, whether this is going to be something that you want to do in the future. Exactly. And, uh, as, as full time. Mm -hmm. Not just the occasional holiday, but actually living on a boat, continuous cruising, and uh, just yeah. enjoying being on the canal system in England. Yeah, we've been skulking on YouTube for years watching yeah, we every were, single piece of content about yeah, we narrow were first boating. introduced through um, Thoughts as a Float on Amazon Prime, mm -hmm. written by Narrowboat. Mm -hmm. And then we found David Johns. And then we found Kevin Shelley, all on Amazon Prime. And then yeah. we figured out they're all on YouTube. They're all on YouTube. <laughs> So that's where we've been spending our past four or five years. So. Yeah. And then we found Heidi. Heidi and the Nomadic the narrow Robots. Boat pirate, pirate, yeah. I don't think any of them are going to be on the Leeds and Liverpool right now. I doubt it. I don't know. You never know who you might see. Well, we'll have to crack a drink open and say cheers to Heidi even though she's not here. Yeah. <laughs> don't have any rum though. No rum. Got some beer Just though. Just beer and wine. Boat day. Yeah, the end of our first day on a boat. <laughs> yeah. We found a, found a really good mooring spot. Yeah, just outside the... Bradley. Bradley. That's Bradley. it. Yes, Bradley. Yeah, the hills here are just amazing. There's sheep everywhere and swans. And... Yeah, if you hear baying or, or, <laughs> or honking, which is the Canada geese, yes, rural Britain is overrun by yeah. Canada, Can it's... Canadian geese. But, uh... but yeah, we've so we've... Um, had our soup dinner because <laughs> the pub nearby was closed. Apparently, Monday Tuesday closures is a, are a thing. So hopefully, so. the uh, pub we we can make it to a pub tomorrow. I think we will. Yeah, I think we will. and a grocery store and a water point. Yeah, I need to do, do some water tomorrow as well. But yeah, we've moored up in a really nice spot. It's beautiful. Oh, it's it's lovely. The yeah. the green. I can't believe the green hills in Yorkshire or West Yorkshire and the um, stone walls and the sheep. I guess it's all pasture and grazing. I, the only thing I can Yeah, there's a lot of farms out here mm -hmm. and stuff. But yeah, 
we've had a really good day. We've learned a lot today. Learned how to drive the boat. Learned a lot. Learned how to work swing bridges. I learned a lot about <laughs> swing. I learned more than I wanted to know about swing bridges. Uh, hopefully we'll get some lots done tomorrow. I think we should make it to some locks. Yeah, yeah. and uh, learn how to do those. And, Up at Skipton. But, so what's your initial first impressions about living <laughs> on a boat full time and doing this as a continuous cruising lifestyle? Well, I think I mentioned it earlier to you and it sounds really silly. It's a really silly statement, but when it, when you are on a boat on the canals, it feels more like a boat than I thought it would. And I don't really know why. I guess maybe it's because of the moving around, mm -hmm. uh, which I, I didn't know how much moving around you would actually feel. I don't dislike it. Um, it just, it, it feels a lot more boaty than maybe perhaps other people's content lend it to look well, like. you're on a boat. <laughs> yeah, I know. But, I mean, like I say, stupid, stupid, stupid um, statement, but uh, what about you? What struck you the most? Uh, just how easy it was to drive, really. Really? Yeah, I wasn't really expecting it to be just hop on it, have a little bit of instructions. The guys from Silsden Boat that we hired this boat from, they did a really great job of explaining things. They did, they did really well. And telling us how to do things. I mean, for people who've never done this before, never. first timers, <laughs> and to just hop on it and go, it was astounding. I mean, it was a bit, We. I mean, you know, a bit apprehensive. You know, probably, but then if you do stuff, if you don't ever do anything because you're apprehensive about it, then well, you'll never do you'll anything. You'll never do anything. So. so, yeah, it worked out well. I I had an easy time driving it, no problems. Uh, I did get stuck on a ledge at one point. I was wondering, I was watching him go back and forward parallel to the, the uh, towpath, and yeah. I was like, what's he doing? Yeah, I couldn't get the rear of the boat off the ledge, so I had to go forward hard and back up hard to, to finally get it off the ledge, and I learned. Yeah. To push the front of the boat out far enough after stopping and uh, mooring for a swing bridge, yeah. so he had to learn how to push the front of the front of the boat out so he can get going and not get stuck on the side of the the towpath. Well, and like here. anything, I mean, like anything, it's all repetition. You know, it is. once you do something a number of times, not only do you learn how to do it properly, but you also learn the most efficient way to do it. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. And that's what we're, that's where we're at. We're learning. Yep. And. Um, learning about potential future uh, plans permanent future plans so. so yeah it's been really good we really enjoyed it um we're gonna finish our beer and wine and other beer and wine <laughs> that don't have flies in yeah them. before we call it a night but we're just loved it out here we love the swans and the has been feeding the ducks i've fed three different waterfowl so far yeah. so yeah so it's been great so We'll, we'll call it a night, and we'll, yep. we'll see you next time. Looking forward to tomorrow, which is another, which is a whole full day on the boat. So All that'll right. be better and bigger. Good night, Ben. Good night. <laughs>